In this video, we're taking a look at responsive background images in Beaver Builder and a solution to a problem I have had for ages, and I know others have this too. And that is when you're adding a background image to a Beaver Builder row or Beaver Builder column, you can nicely position the image to where you like with the Beaver Builder settings and your content so it doesn't interfere with your image. But when it comes to looking at that in the tablet or the mobile view it's looking less than ideal so perhaps major features of the image have gone off screen depending on your settings or your content for example a white header has now moved into a lighter section of the image and it is unreadable now up to this point you've needed to use CSS media queries to be able to correct this. So you'd make a media query perhaps to see that at the various breakpoints you reposition the image or you replace the image entirely or you just remove the image and added a background color. Well, fortunately, there is a great guy in the Beaver Builder community called Tom Carr, who's created a plugin that does all of these things. And you can get it at his site, which is Beaver Team, and you'll need to go over to his resources page. And when you take a look there, he's created some really powerful, simple, but useful plugins for us. These solve real life problems, but and maybe I'll do videos on these later, but I'm just taking a look at this one, which is called Beaver Builder Responsive Background Images. As I'm recording this, you'll need to go to the individual page for each of these plugins and go down to the bottom and add in your email address. So you would need to do this in turn for each of the plugins as it stands. But I do believe that he's intended to package these up as a bundle. So you'll probably only need to do that once in the future. And presently, I don't know if this will remain the same. You'll only get updates through his email system if there has been an update to that plugin. But I don't think this is something to worry about consider this more as a developer has just done you a custom module i think that's a better way of looking at this it's not something that's likely to need updating so let me just show you the file itself it's just a single file within the zip and if we take a look at it please uh, know that i am no coder but if you take a look it does seem to me like he is only really using what is existing in beaver builder itself so i wouldn't worry about this this is likely to work for you for some time without any updates so i wouldn't see that as a concern if you are someone who already knew about it and has downloaded it please make sure that you are on version 1.3 or above because he corrected some things so just make sure you've got that latest version likelihood it is that you would have received an email to tell you about this update so perhaps look out for that okay so let me just show you it in action i'll go over to my site so for this i've set up some examples on my live demo site for free plugins over at free.beaverjunction.com you'll need to come over to this tab and here and let me go into the page builder so I can show you it. So once you've installed Tom's plugin and you've activated it, it adds extra settings to your row settings and your column settings and they're exactly the same. So let's go into the row settings for here. This is what Beaver Builder gives you and here is what Tom adds extra. So it's the ability here to select what devices you want a second image to show on. Now, this second image can either be a total replacement image or it can be the same image so you can use that to then reposition that image, which is what I've done here. But you'll notice here that I've actually used another image because WordPress crops images for us. And because this is a smaller device, I decided to use the smaller version because it wouldn't look pixelated at all at those positions. And I think this may be a, a hidden benefit of this plugin. I've not tested it out, but in theory, this should load a smaller version of the image. So it should be a quicker load for those on mobiles. That's how I see it anyway. And on this one, I've actually just positioned things. But if you wanted to just have a color background, all you'd need to do is to just make sure you select the one you would like and don't select an image and then go down to here and select the background color. So then what would happen is that it would know at a certain setting not to show an image, but to show the background and you can do that instead. And that's what I've done 
on let me just move in now these are not beautifully lined up but you'll see that this one is swapping out the image that was there with just a color background and on this example I'm using it on columns which are exactly the same settings so I don't need to show you just need to go into your column settings over here and you'll find exactly the same but on this I repositioned these because this is what they would look like at default so if I wanted to feature the table I needed to move them across and the chair as I have done here so normally this would take us a lot of time so Tom has saved us Oh, I think so much time, certainly for me. Um, let me just mention while I'm here before I sign off, just a couple of things you may not know about, and it might be worth mentioning of responsive, nothing to do with this plugin. If I go into my row settings here, and oh, there is one thing to mention quickly, is that if you're swapping out these images, you probably don't want to put this to full height because it'll take up the, the browser screen here. So you probably want to leave that to the default and use the padding as I have done here. So I've, I've set 280 top and bottom for the desktop view here. But if I click on this and we'll see, we've got the responsive settings. I've lowered it to 200 for tablets and for the mobile devices. I've set it to 100, so it's a lot smaller on there. So that's one little tip, if you didn't know about that, that you can do. Another one, let me just cancel this, is that but you can now align the heading module how you like. So now I'm using my subheader as headings rather than use a text module or HTML module, because then I don't need to create two columns if I want to position it left or right. And I can perhaps show you best on this one because this moves to center what i've done on this one is in the heading here under styles i've set it so it's alignment right as you can see here on desktops but when it comes to the mobile settings i've centered it and made the text a little bit smaller and in fact i've gone one step further on this one i've gone in and if we can see here i've actually positioned up with the margins by adding minus i've moved up the image above and if you can see it here as I say I've not perfectly done that so I've centered and I've moved this above the image here and in this particular example let me just move out of here it looks like I hadn't replaced if you do go and look at this it looks like I haven't replaced the image with another one but in fact I have I've taken another version with this slightly cropped in there so it better positioned as I say it's a little bit wonky at the moment but if you want to try this out for yourself you can test it out and play around with these examples anyway big thanks Tom fantastic work saved us loads of time we love you Please go and support Tom and if you like this video then please give me a like and if you like these kind of videos then please subscribe to the channel and hopefully I will talk to you again in another video. Thanks very much. Bye bye.